Michelle Isaac, and this is volume three of Composing Notes, where I take you into my composing process. In the last video, we talked about finding some notes and creating small musical building blocks. And in this video, we're going to develop those ideas into more material for the piece. Let's do it! Once I've created a musical building block or two, I like to develop each idea in many different ways until I have a lot of material to choose from for the piece. This is where you get to play around and experiment with the music, and there are millions of ways you can develop a musical idea. Here are just a few, and I'll show you more examples soon. I typically develop an idea into more material than I'm actually going to use in the piece, but I like to have a wide variety of options. In the last video, I showed you how I found the notes for both my human theme and my earth theme in Earth Triptych. Now I'll show you how I developed each one throughout the piece. In the beginning of my movement, to show the symbiosis between the Earth and early humans, I expanded my human theme to be sweet and serene. I then changed it from being in the key of A major into a blues scale starting on G, while also adding a syncopated rhythm to show the fun and energetic side of human progress. As human progress starts to get out of control, the theme becomes more sinister in the minor mode with added minor intervals. Finally, towards the end of the movement, the human theme becomes aggressive and threatening. The earth theme similarly starts off peacefully and sweetly. Responding to the sinister human theme, you can hear how the earth theme becomes polluted in a different key. Remember how I spelled E-A-R-T-H to get the earth theme in A major? Well, putting that spelling into the key of C minor yields a much spookier motive. Finally, the earth theme matches the aggression of the human theme at the end of the movement. You can see, even though they all look and sound slightly different, that all of this material comes directly from those two building blocks at the top. So in the last video, I decided that this chord repeated will be the main building block for my new piece. So let's start developing it just by using the notes within the chord. I can build a melody from the notes. I can also arpeggiate or break the chord apart in many different ways. I can tr introduce new notes by inverting the chord or widening its intervals. And I can also add notes and change the rhythm for a completely different feel. I always like to come up with contrasting material as well. So in this case, in contrast to the slow, soothing repetition of the original chord, here's a more dissonant, agile, and even irritated motive. All of these ideas can now be their own building blocks to further develop and they're all going to fit together cohesively in the final piece, since they're all related to the same initial building block. To save you all from having to watch me work for a few hours, I'm going to continue developing these ideas off camera. In the next video, I'll show you how I put all of the material together into a final piece that has a beginning, middle, and end. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. It's Peter